few more other jobs. Monkey face. Here's the bumpy. Sorry, baby. Jonah. Jonah. Good morning, everyone. I'm going to wait for some people to jump on before I continue so I don't have to keep repeating. This is Amy, and this is little Jonah. I know he's wearing a pink sweater, but it is a male. <laughs> but he likes this little soft sweaters. <laughs> Jonah, what's happening today? What's happening today, Jonah? Mm -hmm. What's happening? For any of you that may not know or be familiar with our organiza organization, this is Amy with 100 Plus, Abandoned Dogs of Everglades, Florida. And um, this is Jonah. Jonah was found on the streets of Miami by a friend of ours, Detective Judy Webb. He is blind. He was emaciated and still is very, very thin. He was covered and covered in ticks and fleas. He was immediately rushed to our 24-hour animal hospital that we work with, which we are out front right now at Blue Pearl. It's a specialty emergency pet hospital. They are a 24-hour animal hospital. This is also where Red has been treated, Elijah, and countless hundreds if not thousands of dogs of ours. Critical cases that we take for immediate medical attention. So the reason we are here outside the hospital is because little Jonah here, um, he is blind. We took him to the eye specialist, Dr. Carastro's office, which is Dr. Butts, and he was seen by him the other day. They tested his eyes, and he is a possible. Oh, sorry, Boo Boo. He is a possible eye candidate surgery for reversing cataracts. But before we can even consider doing that surgery, now I want you to look at this face who's blind, and picture him wandering the streets of Miami, where cars are crossing. He almost got hit by a car, and he was picked up by again. Uh, Judy Webb, Detective Judy Webb of Miami. She reached out to our organization and here he is. So we also took him to our board certified surgeon, Dr. Babevsky, after he received radiographs here at Blue Pearl. Um, she was very concerned about his hips, FHO, uh, female head removal on both sides, means bilateral. But when she assessed him and looked at him um, the other day, she was very concerned about his back. She thought that there was pain coming from his back. So instead of just trying different medications to get to the root of the problem and find out a definite, uh, definitive answer on what's going on with Jonah, we have set up an appointment for Saturday with the um, Southeast Neurological center uh, where he is going to be having an MRI. Now an MRI is approximately $3,000, maybe a little bit more. Uh, if they find something in his back, then they will go into immediate surgery. Here's where it gets a little tricky. So back to the reason why we're here at Blue Pearl is um, his kidney values were a little off. So we are here to do a um, ultrasound, some blood work, to make sure that his kidneys are functioning properly. Talk about having a lot of stuff going on for this little guy. Um, but there's nothing we will not do for him or any of our 100 plus rescues. So once we touch them and we make them a promise, we keep our promise. If you don't know that by now, you will learn very quickly. That's who we are here at 100 plus. He is approximately eight years of age, eight to 10. But this little guy could have so much life. He is all love. He is a little fighter. 
He loves cushy beds. He loves to eat. He loves attention. He loves love. He loves kisses. Right, boo-boos? And you love your food. There's nothing we're not going to do for this little guy, Jonah. So right now, we are outside. We're going to let the doctors know we're here. We are dropping him off. They're going to do the ultrasound, the blood work. And then we'll get the results back to find out um, if he's even a candidate for surgery. If that is the case, then we will keep our appointment and we will take him Saturday to the neurologist, Dr. Wong's office, where we're seeing Dr. DePompa, who has done many back surgeries on our rescues that were paralyzed and gave them full ability to have a full life without pain. So this is Jonah. Jonah, you ready for your little testing this morning? You're going to come out and hopefully we'll get some really good news because he's so special. What did Keith say, Shell? You're obsessed. <laughs> Keith says Shelly's obsessed with him. How can you not be? How can you not be? He's the most grateful, adorable. He walks around the yard. He does great poopies and peepees, potty trained. Um, so again, yes, he's about seven pounds. He's received a bath, so he might look a little bit more white today. And Shelly put on a little <laughs> soft pink sweater on him. It fits him great. Um, so we're going to go in. We're going to let them know we're here. We're going to get him checked, his kidneys, ultrasound, blood work. If all is good, then we move forward to Saturday's appointment with the neurologist with an MRI. And if all goes well with that, and, and, and maybe he doesn't need surgery, something's going on. So we need to find out what. He is on pain meds. Um, and then after all this is said and done, this is our plan being positive. Uh, if all this moving forward is great, then we go back to the eye specialist where they will do the test and determine if he is a candidate for cataract surgery, which means he will have full vision, if not one eye, definite one, if not both eyes, hopefully one eye. So these are our hopes for little Jonah. And um, yes, it might be a little bit of a long road for him, but I'll tell you what, guys, so worth it. So with all of this being said this morning, we need your help. Hi. We need Hi. your help by donating to allow us to give him everything that I've just spoke of, the ultrasound, the blood work, the MRI, possible surgery if he needed, um, and also cataract surgery if he's a candidate. So we can start here to cover um, at least the ultrasound, the blood work, and be prepared for whatever comes next on Saturday. Um, Elijah is here at this hospital. I don't know if we'll have an opportunity to see him because we can't go in the hospital. It's basically still drop off. Um, we are asking for your love and your prayers. We're asking for donations for baby Jonah. He's not a baby, but he's our baby. And he's nothing but love. Are you ready, Joan? I'm going to go tell them you're here. You stay here, Shell. And I am going to... Good morning, everyone. I love this face. So I just love his little face. Hold on, but was Bear with me, guys. Sorry. The whole mask thing. Oh. In here. Hold on, please. What's going on, Jonah? Jonah, Jonah. Jonah, 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 Jonah. <laughs> Somebody let <laughs> old do it, Jonah. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, happy death. What? Happy Tell us, Jonah. What is it? Jonah. Jonah. What? <laughs> what, Jonah? Tell me. Talk to me. Tell me story, Jonah. Yeah, what else? What else, Jonah? What? Tell me. Tell me. Good thing is he had his breakfast mm. and his meds, so he's not hungry. He dropping these dogs off. Nice, poopy. nice poopies when they have to have appointments, and I hate when they can't eat. So, okay, we'll get this out of here. Let me get this over to the keys. I'll be right back.
Hey, hey. Fancy oh, seeing you. You so nice man. You. you like this? This is great. That's really cute. Kim hates it. I She's can't. making fun of me. It's kitty. It's cute. I love it. <laughs> well, I haven't been here in two months, so I decided I might as well, you know, make an appearance. I've got my little dog Jonah. He's okay. being dropped off with Dr. Cannon. Okay. For ultrasound blood work. Okay. And then she'll call us when he's ready. Let me grab some gloves and I'll come get him. Thank you, honey. Oh, you got locked out. Yes, they're locking me out. This is one of the wonderful managers here of the Blue Pearl. And um, she was at one of our fundraisers. They set up a table outside. They were very generous. They made a beautiful donation of $500 back at our huge fundraiser. It is very caring, very loving hospital. Somebody looks very comfy over here. Okay, you can bring him. Ready? Yep. Alright. Get your little bats for you. Yeah. Oh, I know. Oh, I don't even need a leash. What a sweetheart. Welcome <laughs> Ridiculous. He's blind. I see that. Where are we going? Where are we going to go? Oh, oh my goodness, what a he's sweetheart. He's got his little harness on, honey. Yeah, I didn't even realize that. Alright, let's see what we got going on here. That's a big old bundle. Yeah, he's on a bed. They told they told us to bring a fly. He loves his fluffy bed, so you can just throw him right in the not to roll one bed. I just I want to make sure I can carry him appropriately. So okay. I just okay. do him like that. He's right under. If you want me to bring his bed, I will. Why don't we walk it up and you can yeah, we'll just we know we can't go in. I'm sure. I don't mind the cushy bed, but I just Yes. What she's for today? Yeah, she's been in contact with Dr. Babevsky, okay. who saw him, um, and this is the, he's going in for uh, an MRI because he uh, needs possible, I don't know, back surgery, but they want to make sure his kidneys are okay, so he needs an ultrasound and blood work. If it's okay, let me just leave this with you. Yeah. It's just one last thing that I have to worry about. Oh, the leash? Yeah. Okay. Here you go, baby. One last thing to get you all tangled up. You will feel good. Okay. There we go. Uh, I'll take that under my arm. All right, my friends. I see you later. Thank you. Good, good luck, you. Jonah. We love you. Thank you. Thank you, honey. Good we'll see you later. See you later. Bye, see baby. You Bye. Thank Bye. you. He had his pain meds and breakfast this morning. What time? He had all his meds. What time? About eight. About eight o'clock. Eight o'clock. Perfect. All right, thanks, guys. So as you can see, he's in good hands, and now we wait for Dr. Cannon to call us with results. Uh, Shell and I are heading back to House Two, Rescue House Two. We have two rescue houses, one and two. Rescue House One is our large dogs, our kitties, and our mixes, and a couple of littles, uh, mostly pit bulls. Rescue House 2 is a mixture of both. Uh, we originally opened to do small dogs only and you know how that goes when an animal's in need. So we are actually going back to house. Elijah's in here. He's resting. Uh, we, get, we got an update yesterday. I posted photos um, um, on the page. It's pretty graphic. They were from yesterday, um, after the surgery, all the staples, and, um, you know, listen, it's an open forum, so people are going to voice what they're feeling, what they're seeing. All I'm asking is please refrain from posting and think before posting. There were a couple of comments that were just extremely upsetting. Um, somebody said you should have euthanized him. Well, you can go, you know, where you can go with that. Um, another person said, why are you reposting the same pictures? Uh, they're not the same pictures. They are pictures from yesterday. They were one, there was like one older or two older pictures to show the comparison. Um, we try to keep you updated and posted on everything. So if we have to see it, then you, you have to see it. If you don't want to view it, look away. It's not going to help the animal in need. If we looked away, then we would not be here speaking of Elijah right now. 
Um, everybody's talking about voting. We love you too, Joni. Thank you. Um, the voting thing is there's a link in our page. Uh, the most votes has a, an, a has a big chance at winning ten thousand dollars. So you can vote every twenty four hours. Please keep voting every day, twenty four hours. Click vote one hundred plus. Um, we have a, as much as a chance as anybody else. <clears throat> as far as us visiting with Elijah today, that's not happening right now. We have another appointment. So he is in there. He is in the office with Ellen. Um, she's the manager. She sent me a photo yesterday. He's just hanging out. Um, we are planning and trying to get him out of this hospital and back with us at Rescue House 2. So we're hoping to do that by the end of this week where we can fatten him up and love on him and, and uh, work with him. So, you know, the scars on the outside, remember there are scars on the inside emotionally. So we don't know what his, you know, emotional state is and we have to figure that out. Um, so uh, go on our 100 plus abandoned dogs of Everglades, Florida. And if you scroll just a couple posts down, you will see the link to click to vote. And um, you tell him, Amy. Listen, I I had to refrain, but I went in there and I did make a comment. I'm not going to mention names, and I walked away. Um, and then when I went back, I think there were like 73 comments of everybody just you know going at it. So I do believe that it was done um, just out of out of frustration, sadness. People post things uh, without thinking. I don't believe it came from a bad place but it just makes a lot of work for us on the other end when we see these comments and of course we have to respond. So just all I'm asking for is number one, please think before you post. Um, number two, please try to be kind to one another on these posts. You know, maybe try to educate people, not go in attacking people. Um, these are our supporters. So when I respond, I respond in a nice way, um, kind of nice way but getting to my point across and think before you type exactly. Uh, let's stay focused on what's most important, which is the animals and not the drama um, of social media and people. Um, we really, really, really don't have the energy or the time to put into um, you know, dealing with drama on social media. If people are rude, disrespectful, you will be blocked and you will be deleted permanently from our Facebook page. And uh, there's no reversing that. So let's all, you know, we love you guys. We appreciate you. And um, just let's keep those prayers and please donate for Jonah. Right now we're focusing on Jonah. Shelly and I are heading back to house two where we're going to pick up Shane. And we're taking him to Heroes to remove the staples. Shane's getting all of his staples removed. Shane was a dog we rescued from the Miami-Dade Kill Shelter after his owner surrendered him with a massive massive angry tumor on his complete paw was just one massive tumor and they had to amputate his leg. Um, <clears throat> some people were saying, couldn't you just cut the foot? Couldn't you just save half the leg? Guys, don't you think that if there was a way to save half the leg that we would have done it? Um, that's Those are the things I'm talking about. So trust me, these are board certified surgeons. I don't believe we know more than them. Um, and if this is what is done, we always ask questions. Don't think we just go in with blindfolds on and say, okay, do what you want. We ask the questions, we do our homework, we do our research. At the end of the day, we trust our doctors, our surgeons, our board certified criticalists, um, and we do what's best for the animal in need. So Shane is doing great. He's gonna be having his staples removed. We're heading back to get him now. I will come live in just a little bit uh, to show you how well Shane's doing when we take him to the hospital and if anything else um, if there's any more updates just know that Elijah is resting comfortably and as soon as we have more of an update of anything we'll come live to you but right now just um, when I'm doing a video of a certain particular animal can we try please to stay focused on that animal and not ask me how's red how's Senna how's this one how's that one guys it's it's too much for us we can't we're, we're doing a video focusing on one animal in need every video is to if I do an update video and you know bring you updated on everything then that's an update video but right now this video is about Jonah I'm talking about we're going to get Shane and I'm addressing some some topics here so um, 
first time on and will watch her support when I can. Thank you, Phyllis. Thank you, everybody. It is 945 and we will be back with you shortly. Please donate and please send your love and your prayers for Jonah. This is Amy and Shelly, 100 plus abandoned dogs of Everglades, Florida. And yes, remember to vote every single day, 20, every 24 hours, get your vote in. Hopefully we could be one of those lucky people and we could put that money towards these animals because as you know, we have a lot, a lot of criticals right now. And this is for our ongoing mission. We'll see you guys soon.